It's official. I've got fucking superpowers. Holy franken fuck, Dexter is returning. I cannot believe how incredible this timing is. I actually thought it was fake. I had to look at like five different sources before I actually believed it. So yes, people, if I am the first person telling you this, it is official, it is real. Dexter is returning to Showtime next year. They have just announced a limited 10 episode reboot series. It's gonna start filming sometime next year, the beginning, summertime, and it's gonna premiere sometime in the fall, provided that nothing gets in the way. COVID, don't you fucking dare. This is insane. I, I literally just dropped my Dexter season one review a couple of days ago. I've been planning on doing it for a while now and the impeccable timing of me and Mother Mayhem joining up and then just deciding to talk about this series that we love out of the blue and then bam, just like that, they're saying, hey, guess what, we're coming back? Yeah, I take full credit, me and Mother Mayhem, Full credit. I'll admit, I've had it in the back of my head for a while that they have to come back at some point. I mean, this show is just so beloved and was so critically and fan acclaimed for a long time. And, you know, though there are fans of the final season, a lot of people were disappointed by it. I mean, it, there's a lot of people that would consider it one of, if not the worst series finale of all time, the worst final season of all time. And uh, unless my rewatch changes things, I belong to that group, so I, I hear you. And with a show that's so beloved that has that kind of a stain on its legacy, I just figured at some point they have to come back. They have to come back to try to right the ship. And I'm hoping this is going to be exactly that. Uh, they're not going to be retconning season eight. It's not going to be, you know, he's not going to wake up and it's going to be all a dream. Like, whoa, what the hell was all that? No, no, it's going to be after the ending of season eight, which I know a lot of people do not like the direction of that season. I, again, I hear you, but they're going to be continuing from that point. They're going to use that as a jumping off point and tell the story of Dexter now that he is, you know, spoiler alert, uh, been a lumberjack, been in exile for God knows how many years now. And I'm very curious where that's going to be. I don't think it's going to have any of the other cast members from the original show. Obviously, some of them are not able to be there because they're dead. But even the ones that are still living, uh, I don't imagine many of them. I don't imagine he's going to go back to Miami. So it's probably going to be a totally different show for this 10 episodes. And my appetite is wet for figuring out whatever the hell that is going to be. And part of the most exciting and the most reassuring part of this entire announcement is that Clyde Phillips is gonna be returning as showrunner. Now this is the guy that wrote and ran the show for the first four seasons, which I'd say the vast majority of us Dexter fans out there would consider to be the best run of the show, especially season four. So that is very exciting. Of course, Michael C. Hall is coming back. I didn't even think that that needed to be announced, but yeah, he's coming back as Dexter. So yeah, I don't know, this is very surprising, very shocking news to just come out of absolutely nowhere. Like I said, I saw it and I thought it was fake. And until I saw that Deadline was the one that was reporting it and that Showtime themselves was putting out promotional material, uh, yeah, huge, huge, huge surprise today. Uh, I was talking with Mother Mayhem. I don't know. She's probably going to comment down below. She's on cloud nine. She's losing her fucking mind. Holy fuck shit balls. Sweet Mary mother fuck Jesus on a stick. Roly poly shit machine. Guys, it's happening. <laughs> Well, enjoy that creepy laugh notification. All right, guys. So Cody just sent me a link letting me know that they have approved 10 episodes of Dexter. And I mean, if you know, like this is my most favorite show of all time. I'm obsessed with it. I watch it, if not once a year, multiple times a year. And I, I love everything about Dexter. And I have been freaking out ever since. I'm having trouble making dinner. I'm having trouble keeping coherent, like linear thoughts. It's, it's a mess. So Cody asked if I wanted to say anything to you guys. And this is it. Like, I'm just, I'm fucking freaking out. I could not be more excited about this. And I know there's going to be all kinds of mixed thoughts on this. And people are going to be hoping that maybe they just erase season eight and... I am one of those people that feel like that would be a big, big mistake. And I am one of those people that actually enjoy season eight. And if you're watching me and Cody's reviews, you're going to be able to hear all the reasons why he fucking hates it. All the reasons you guys fucking hate it. And all the reasons that I love season eight. And I think that it's, it was justified. 
But now, oh man, like so many thoughts are running through my brain of what could happen. Like, is it going to be about Harrison? Is it going to be something that Hannah has done? Maybe something happens to Hannah. Maybe freaking Lumen comes back. That was a thought I had. What if Lumen comes back? What if Lumen's like, I need your help with something? Or like, I knew you wouldn't be dead. So she goes and finds him. Like, who, who fucking knows? Who knows? It's all so much. And I, my mind is racing and I don't know what to do. It's all mm, overwhelming. I'm excited, guys. I'm really fucking excited. So you're welcome. Um, me and Cody clearly made this come to fruition with our minds. And we are X-Men or witches. I kind of like the idea of being an X-Men, though. So... Yeah. Anyways, you're welcome and uh, stay tuned for the rest of our reviews because they will be coming out for the next, eight, well, seven weeks now, I suppose. So, yay! It's fucking happening! Yes! Uh, so, yeah, that good time to be a Dexter fan, guys. So, follow along with us as we go over the eight seasons of Dexter. Hopefully, it doesn't take all the way until this uh, 10 episode run. It should be over the next couple of months, but life gets in the way. So check out that season one review from me and Mother Mayhem. Subscribe to both of our channels and wait for season two onward as we go through this entire show. And then eventually we will regroup and review this 10 episode limited series. And we'll see where we end up by the end of that. So with all that being said, guys, I guess uh, I'm going to go play the lottery tonight. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and start gearing up my reviews for The Shield, uh, Banshee, uh, Hannibal. What other shows do I want to bring back with my newfound powers? What do you guys think of this announcement? Are you excited about this? Have you been craving more Dexter? Have you wanted them to come back and redeem season eight? Or are you one of the people that actually really liked the way the show ended and you don't want to see them continue? You don't want to see them possibly change or alter the fate of Dexter? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Please like and share this video. Like I already said, hit the subscribe button on my channel and Mother Mayhem's channel. That will be in the video description below. And as always, guys, remember, opinions are like assholes. That doesn't mean you have to be. Hey.